Clement's Homebrew coming at ya. Hey, it's Christmas time. Today's the 22nd that I'm actually reviewing this of December. So I've got Christmas Ale. Not a Christmas Ale, but Christmas Ale from Brewery St. Bernardus out of Watau, Belgium. I don't know if I'm pronouncing Watau correctly, but this is a quadruple. It's 10%. And uh, it's supposed to have some extra Christmas spice. It's actually made with their house uh, yeast strain. So the same thing you'd find in like Abbott 12. Uh, so yeah, this promised to be a good one. I'm going to get this one cracked open and give it a try. The fun part, getting it open. Oh, oh, nice. I don't know if you saw any of that smoke coming off there. That's a beautiful sight. Oh, that's a pretty beer, I gotta tell you. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, uh, recently I had one from Jameson Mockle. That's right, his Westy 12 clone, and a same, same appearance. What a beauty this is. Uh, but yeah, exactly the same look. All right, it's, it's, uh, it's not, you know, opaque. You can see through it, of course. Uh, they're really not like red hues. They're like, more like brown tones coming through. Had a nice two plus finger head, I'd say, when I first poured it, kind of pillowy big uh, uh, bubbles on there, medium sized bubbles, nice and pillowy though, kind of lumpy looking and um, just off white a little bit, just a little off white. It looks inviting. Let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah, that smells good. That does smell good. I, you know, right off the top though, I gotta say I got a little bit of banana, Belgian yeastiness, and a little bit of spiciness on it. And, yeah, that classic, uh, the sugars, the sweetness, like uh, a little bit of molasses, like brown sugar, uh, turbinado sugar, probably better description. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, I mean, it's that mix. It's that mix of the lighter and the darker sugars, and they're both, both in there. So you know there's like the Belgian candy in that. Uh, wonderful. Yeah, interesting. I like the spices on it. It's pretty classic, pretty classic Belgian aromas. It's almost like I get like a hint of like nutmeg and just a s tiny splash of clove off it. Like I said, I get the bananas. I get some raisin on there for sure. <sighs> you know, a hint of caramel, more toffee-ish with the sugars, like I say, the terminados, uh, maybe a splash of honey type aromas on there. A hint of like darker fruits, but more more of the raisin, maybe just a, a little bit of plum on that as well. Oh, it's like a breadiness and you know, that good Belgian yeast. So it, I think I got a splash of some apple on that as well. Oh, that was nice. Almost like apple peel or I don't know. It's it's a red apple with, with the peel on there. You're taking a bite of it. Very, very fresh. Mmm, and this more... <sighs> More of those nice caramelized brown sugars, but more light and oh anyway, all right, I'm 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 ready. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. It's oh it, it's it's not as uh, strong in taste, which is very deceiving because this is ten percent alcohol. But the, the flavors on it aren't super strong. It's not a big mouth boom. It's not big there in the mouth, but you're getting those nice Belgian flavors, you know, that Belgian quad flavor, but you get a bit of spiciness on it. Yeah, and I can't completely uh, pin down that spiciness either. Um, you know, I, I could pull things out easier on the nose than I am in the taste. Look when I give this a swirl. Look how much that head builds up again. You know, the, the impression is that it's a, it's a medium low carbonation, but I'm gonna tell you it's not. There, there's a lot of carbonation in this. Uh, almost too carbonated for me. Um, I'm just getting this real, those, those Belgian candy sugars with some toffee in that, and the, like I said, like a turbinado sugar. The, the banana-esque, is a little lighter than it was on the nose. Uh, get a little bit of like, um, almost some like date, like date sugar kind of thing. Um, 
hint of raisin, a splash of some plum, a little bit of apple on that. But I'm getting some spices, like, like uh, a, just a hint of clove on that, a hint of some nutmeg on that, a little bit of bready, got more of the apple coming through. You could probably play with this quite a while. I'm going to take some time with this and I'll be back. All right, I've taken a little more time with this again. Uh, it's nice. It's very nice. It, it's not everything that I really thought it would be, quite frankly. I, I, I might have uh, very high ideals sometimes. I think we all can do that, and I think uh, that's what makes uh, rating beers very subjective at times. But um, it's very good. It's just, it's, it's a little different. It sure is. It's festive. I mean, that little bit of spices that kick in, I can't tell you exactly what they are. I gave you some of the ideas that I have on there as far as like, you know, hint of clove and the hint of nutmeg. And I think there's a lot on there. Like I say, date raisin, maybe a hint of plum. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. Apples definitely there. Things going on. It's, it's very good. It's very enjoyable. I think I like this, the regular quads better, though, to be honest with you, as opposed to the this Christmas, slight Christmas twist. But I won't quit kid you. I mean, this is very, very good. <laughs> it, it truly is. All right, well, so where do we go with this? A quad. Like I say, that, that, whatever those spices they kick in throws just a little bit of a different twist on it for me. I would have liked it if I had some other richer flavors and, and more dark fruits possibly in it. But um, So for quadruple, a Belgian quadruple at that, I'm going to give this a 93. I think that's about right. It's, it's very good. There's just something with the spices that throw me off. It is more festive. It's more holiday-like. I definitely want to go back at this point now and do the App 12 from St. Bernardus. I've had it, never reviewed it. I think for the overall... I have to drop down. I just to be very frank. I mean, it's definitely a B plus, and I do like Belgian beers and quads, but uh, I'm gonna give it an 87 for me. 87 is very good, still a good rating. Here it is, Christmas ale from Brewery St. Bernardus or or St. Bernardus Brewery, however you want to say that. Um, please don't let my rating be a deterrent. I want to hear what you have to say. I know that many of you have had this beer. Tell me what you think. I really do want to hear, you know, it could have been what I ate earlier today or how I'm feeling at the moment. Uh, this is Kevin from Clown Sombrew saying, <laughs> life is too short to drink cheap beer and I will see you on the next beer review.